Good day, this is Sedlow with some tips and tricks for air-to-air -air refueling in Operation Inherent Resolve Mission 1 F-15E edition that we released uh, in late June. Uh, it is highly recommended that you do tank from the tanker at the beginning of the mission. However, I have tested it and you can complete the mission without refueling. However, you have to be very conservative with your throttle. Try not to be an afterburner too much, but it can be done. But we do recommend that you uh, do tank. If you don't know how to tank, do practice at it. It takes some practice, but once you get it, uh, there's not much more in the simulation world more satisfying than uh, refueling. So highly recommend it. If you don't want to tank, what you still have to do is fly within 15 miles of the tanker. And when you get there, AWACS will push you to their frequency, and you do have to change to their frequency. While you're there, send your wingmen into tank, because the AI is not great with fuel management. If you don't, chances are they're going to run out of fuel. And don't forget, you always command your wingman on the AUX radio. They'll always be on AUX 18, so whatever commands you send to your wingman at any time during the mission, use the AUX radio. Now, uh, once you are... Uh, over on the tanker frequency, you can check out with the radio menu F10 option. All right. But if you do decide to refuel, um, you'll see the tanker there up at 24,000 feet between the layers. They'll be flying at about 320 knots indicated. Uh, it is, for a fully loaded Strike Eagle, sometimes challenging to stay on the boom. You may find yourself needing to use a little bit of afterburner on an engine every now and then just to stay there in position. Um, you can, though, get the tanker to descend. And there is an option to have it descend down to about 18,000 feet, where your jet has a little bit more performance. To do that, you access it via the radio menu, F10 option, tanker speed and angels. So you select that. There's an option for 18,000 feet. You select that, and the tanker starts to descend. Conversely, once it's down there, if you want it to go back up, same thing, radio menu, F10 option. I hope you find this uh, useful, and uh, take care for now.